Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Midsummer Knits and as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a list of knitting patterns inspired by Taylor Swift. So to bring a little bit more clarity to the prompt, um, each of these patterns that I'm going to be sharing today is going to be inspired by something that Taylor Swift has worn and in particular I looked mostly at knitwear that she has worn, so things that already lend themselves to sort of having a related pattern. So there are tons of really iconic outfits that Taylor Swift has worn that I just feel like wouldn't really translate super well into knitwear or would be a little bit more difficult to knit. So I did mostly look at things that she has worn in the past that are knit. Also, I want to say I did include one crochet pattern in this video, and that's just because I think it's a very iconic look of hers. I did not include more crochet patterns because I feel like she hasn't worn a ton of crochet things, or at least I couldn't think of any that sort of came directly to mind when I was thinking of things that Taylor Swift has worn. And I just know for a fact that she has worn a good amount of knitwear, so I felt like knitwear was the best prompt to sort of go off of. And also my channel is mostly based on knitting, so it does make sense with my channel. Before we go any further, if you are new here, hi and welcome to my channel. I feel like this video is going to be like my magnum opus, um, just because I am a knitting channel, however, I am absolutely obsessed with Taylor Swift and I've mentioned her in a ton of other videos. So if you like both knitting and Taylor Swift, I think my channel would be an amazing place for you to check out. And if you just like knitting and not Taylor Swift, you can also check out my channel. I have lots of other videos that are not related to Taylor Swift, so I think I'll have something that is interesting for everyone. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that most of the patterns that I have pulled are related to looks that Taylor has worn kind of more recently. Um, just in the fact that I feel like in her earlier years, like debut and Fearless, uh, I don't know if she was wearing too much knitwear, and if she was, it's not really looks that people think of as memorable or would sort of recognize if you brought up a picture of her wearing like a sweater during Fearless era. So I feel like I went more off of kind of my own pop, pop culture knowledge, which is going to skew towards more recent history. And I also went off of when Taylor Swift was wearing the most sort of knitwear and the most recognizable knitwear. So definitely I realized that the looks that I have pulled do skew more towards her more recent years. There's a good number from Folklore and a good number from Midnight's, but those are just the times that she has very recognizably worn knitwear. So that's why there's a little bit more of a bias towards more recent years. Without further ado, let's get into this. I am just really excited to be making this video today because this is a video that combines my two obsessions, so I am really excited to share this video with you guys today. Up first we have the Red Era. So I have a couple of pieces of knitwear that are actually more so from the Red Taylor's version era, so a little bit more recently. But these are just pieces that Taylor has worn or has included in her era in the Red Taylor's version era. So the first outfit that I want to talk about is the Argyle All Too Well sweater. Taylor herself has worn this sweater once. She wore it in one of the Midnight's Mayhem With Me episodes that came out when she was releasing the tracklist names from Midnight's. However, I feel like this sweater first became a bit more recognizable when she came out with the All Too Well 10 minute version short film in which Sadie Sink wears this sweater. That being said, I feel like if you are a Swifty, you might recognize this sweater, but if you are not a Swifty, it's not going to look really out of place. It is just going to be a cute sweater in someone's wardrobe. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to find an exact match for this design. There are a number of outfits in this video where I'm not able to find an exact match, and so I just did something sort of similar, and this was one of those cases where I just had to do something with kind of a similar vibe as opposed to a design that would be an exact match. I do want to say that if you really want to make this sweater for yourself, I think this is a design where it'd be pretty doable to just kind of make a slight alteration to an existing sweater pattern and make it for yourself. Essentially, you would probably want to do a sweater pattern that is knit flat so that you can do in Tarja for the Argyle section, and then you could just take another design which has an Argyle chart and use that to make the sweater look like the all 2 ball sweater. I do want to say this will also be a little bit more of an advanced pattern because it does use intarsia. So the design I found that I thought was similar to the all 2 well sweater is called the Argyle Pluve Cardigan. I hope I'm saying that correctly because I'm not sure how to say the name, but I will put it on the screen here. Um, that being said, this is a really cute cardigan that just has a large Argyle print on it, and I think this is super cute on its own, honestly. If you wanted to just make this and have kind of a Taylor Swift inspired piece, I think that would look really cute. I'm also taking a lot of inspiration from the pictures that they have on the pattern page because there are a lot of really cute samples in different colors. There's this one that is like a cool slate gray, pink, and white, and I think that one is so gorgeous. Anyways, I just think this cardigan is super cute, and if you wanted to make it directly, I think it would be a really cute Taylor Swift inspired piece. Or alternatively, you could take the chart and sort of use it on any sort of basic oversized sweater pattern. 
and make yourself an actual all too well sweater. I do want to say this Argyle cardigan also reminds me a lot of a sweater that Taylor wore during the Lover era. She wore it for some of her Lover photo shoots and it's just a very cute colorful Argyle sweater which I'll put on the screen. So I think this is a really cute one that could be more inspired by Taylor Swift's look as opposed to directly copying it. The next design that I wanted to share is to do something that is inspired by an all too well scarf. So just to give the tiniest bit of backstory in case you are not a Swiftie or you know aren't completely filled in on all of the knowledge of, of Taylor Swift. If you watch the All Too Well short film, I think this will be pretty clear what I'm talking about. However, essentially in the song All Too Well, Taylor references a scarf that she gave to an ex-boyfriend and that he kept even after they broke up. And so the All Too Well scarf has become a little bit of a joke or a meme within the Swifty community. And I believe this is also another thing that Taylor Swift sold as merch during the Red Taylor's version era. That being said, I think that knitting yourself a red scarf is a really really basic idea of how to make something Taylor Swift inspired. There is a pattern called the All Too Well scarf that is specifically inspired by All Too Well and I believe it is made to emulate the look of the All Too Well scarf that is in her merch store and in the music video. However, I also just want to say I don't think that the pattern is necessarily necessary for this design. I think you could really easily just knit yourself like a seed stitch scarf. Um, using red yarn and it would very easily come off as an all too well scarf. So I think this is a really fun one. This is also a very beginner friendly one. So even if you haven't knit very much before, if you just know how to knit and purl, you could very easily make yourself an all too well scarf. Next up we have the 1989 era and the design that I chose for this era I want to say could be chosen for either 1989 or rep depending on how you look at it. Um, but this is a very iconic one and the one that I really wanted to include in my video. It's also just a funny one and one that has been a bit of a meme in the Swifty community. Some of you guys might recognize this picture of Taylor Swift where she's wearing this knit sweater that has a cutout in the front. And this one has been a little bit of a meme within the Swifty community because it was discovered after Taylor wore this that she actually wore it backwards and the cutout was intended to be on the back as opposed to on the front. However, I think it still looks really cute with the cutout on the front. And apparently some people agree because there is a knitting pattern that has a front cutout that looks very similar to this. So for this pattern, I actually saw my friend Tamara. She's a YouTuber, by the way. Her channel name is Starcross Knits, um, but she made one of these. It is called the Boob Window. And as soon as I saw her make it, my thoughts immediately went to the Taylor Swift incident with her wearing her shirt backwards. Um, but I do think this is a really cute design. The pattern is only for a short sleeve top, whereas Taylor's was a long sleeve top. So again, this is not going to be quite an exact match to what she wore, but I think that this is a really good inspiration to go off of. And if you do want to make a long sleeve version, I think that could be easily modified. I also just want to say this is one of the designs in this video that I think is the cutest and the one that I would probably be most likely to make. It's not necessarily something that I would knit because it's directly inspired by Taylor Swift, but just because I separately think it is cute on my own. Next up we have my favorite era of all time, the Folklore era. I absolutely love the album Folklore, it is my favorite of all time. And I also just think this era was so iconic with the absolute vibe shift. She just went completely cottagecore, she filled her visuals with all these really cute, kind of like fantastical imagery and the way that she changed her wardrobe to match this aesthetic is really cute. A lot of people call it grandma core, which I understand why they're saying that. However, I think that it's also a really cute, unique fashion sense, and I really love a lot of the pieces that she wore during this era. Up first for Folklore, of course, we have the iconic Folklore Cardigan. So on the album Folklore, Taylor Swift has a song named Cardigan, which was a single from Folklore, and it is a lot of people's favorite song. It is a beautiful song, I absolutely love it. And when she dropped Folklore, she also released cardigans as part of the Folklore merch. And the Folklore cardigans are a funny thing because these have just become incredibly hard to get your hands on. I think when the cardigans first dropped, they were around $65 from Taylor's merch store. And nowadays you will see people reselling them for upwards of like $300, just because they've become a bit of a rarity in the Taylor Swift fan community and people just upsell them for a ton of money now. She also came out with different versions of the cardigan as time went on. She came out with one that was like a holiday version, an Evermore version, and then a red TV version. So she has come out with a few different iterations of it at this point, and all of them are in pretty high demand as far as I know. There are two patterns that I have to give you guys in terms of the folklore cardigan. There is one that is a free version from Lion Brand, and this one has a less wide range of sizes. I believe it goes up to about a 60 inch bust and also when you knit the cardigan, you would usually want it to be a bit oversized on you. So this one is just a little bit less size inclusive. And there's also one that Madeline Tosh published for $8, which does have a bit of a larger range of sizes. So I honestly think either of these patterns is probably fine. They both look like they have the correct design. So it's really more of a matter of 
if you want the size inclusivity of the second pattern or not. They are also knit in different weights of yarn. So the first one from Lion Brand is knit in Erin weight and the second one from Madeline Tosh is knit in DK weight. So if you have a yarn that you have in mind for this, that could also kind of factor into which one you want to make. But I think this is a really cute pattern. I have been thinking about making myself a folklore cardigan for ages now, and I'm honestly not sure if I'm ever going to make one just because the time commitment is definitely a pretty big one in making a very complex cabled cardigan like this, and I also am not sure how much I would wear it. However, as a big Taylor Swift fan, I feel like it's like a rite of passage to have a folklore cardigan, so I haven't quite bit the bullet of making myself one yet but maybe in the future I will. I also wanted to recommend a few patterns which are similar to a sweater that Taylor Swift wore in the folklore photo shoot. She wore this absolutely gorgeous cream cabled Erin sweater and it has a bit of a turtleneck. And I just wanna say that this photo is absolutely everything to me. As a knitter and someone who is pretty interested in knitwear, it's just really cool to see her wearing like a traditional Erin sweater. And I do wanna say this one's probably not going to be very recognizable as a design inspired by Taylor Swift in any way. However, if you want to sort of get this look, I wanted to include a couple of patterns that have a similar look to this one. So the first one is called Honeycomb Erin, and this is just an Erin cable sweater that has a very similar look to the one that Taylor wore. It has a similar sort of DNA strand looking cables running down the sides and running down the sleeves, as well as a similar tighter cable pattern going down the center. So I think this is a pretty good design if you want to emulate Taylor's look pretty closely. The only difference is that it doesn't have a turtleneck. I did want to recommend one last pattern, which I think has a similar vibe to the sweater she's wearing, although it is not exactly the same. Um, and this one does have a turtleneck, so if you are looking for the turtleneck look, then I think this is a good one. This one is called Ahab's Aaron Gansey. So as an Aaron cabled sweater, this one has relatively complex cables in it. It has these like chain link looking ones down the sides, as well as on the sleeves. It has a bit more of an open cabled pattern down the center, where there aren't really clearly defined lines within the cables as much. Um, and I think this is a really cool design. Like I said, it's not going to be as an exact of a match for the design on the sweater. However, it does have that turtleneck and a little bit more of a similar look to what Taylor is wearing. And I do think that those chain link looking cables down the sides are really cool. So I think this is a cool design as well. And all of these designs I think are pretty androgynous. It can be made for either a man or a woman or, you know, any gender identity. So I like that there is a little bit more range with these designs. Last up, we have the gift that keeps on giving, which is the Midnight's Era. There are so many photos of Taylor from the Midnight's Era that have knitwear. So I'm really excited to share some patterns that I think look like things that Taylor has worn or sort of have a similar vibe to things that she, Taylor has worn during this era. There is also some sort of like concert going on outside, so I apologize if there's a bit of background noise. I will see if I can edit it out or hopefully you can't hear too much. First of all, I want to share a design that I believe is still in progress and it is by Young Folk Knits on Instagram. She is making a design inspired by the shirt, the collared shirt that Taylor Swift wore in the Antihero music video. It is this really cute 70 Inspires collared striped shirt. I did DM her to check on the progress of the, pa of the pattern. I believe it's not out yet, um, but I will put in the description or on top of me on the screen, like if she has responded and has any update on when it's coming out. Um, otherwise, I will just advise you guys to follow Young Folk Knits on Instagram if you are interested in this design like I am. I just love Midnight's Era because she wore so many like 70s inspired knitwear pieces, lots of collared stuff, and everything she wore is so freaking cute. The next design that I want to share is also from a music video. It's when she wore the crochet chevron tank top in the Lavender Hates music video. And there's also a design that is inspired by this and is basically an exact match. It is called the Taylor Tank. Um, and I just think this is a super super cute tank top. Again, super 70s inspired. This is one that I think if you wear, it will be very, very recognizable as you wearing something inspired by Taylor Swift, especially if you do the exact same colors. Um, and I just think this is so freaking cute. I am not the biggest crocheter, but if I were to crochet, I would probably make this. For the next few designs, I wanted to share some that are inspired by Taylor Swift's outfits in her Midnight's Mayhem With Me series. So this is a series that Taylor Swift did when she was revealing the track names from Midnight's. And in each of these videos, Taylor essentially acted like a game show host where she was picking which name to reveal in the video, which was super cute. And in each of these videos, she also wore super cute 70s inspired outfits, which if you like knitwear, you are going to love all of these outfits. It was so fun getting almost daily fashion inspiration from Taylor Swift when she was releasing these. So the first one that I want to go off of is this really cute, 
daisy cardigan that she wore. I do not have an exact pattern match for this one. However, I think this is another one that you can make a, a couple of small mods to an existing pattern and make this pretty easily. So the pattern I'm going to recommend for this one is the Be Thankful cardigan by Lily Kate Makes. It is just a very simple cardigan with a deep v-neck and so I think it'll be pretty similar to the cardigan that Taylor Swift wore for that reason. However, if you wanted to make a cardigan that actually has the daisies on the sleeves, I would recommend just doing these daisies in duplicate stitch because they are relatively small and I think not really worth the hassle of doing intarsia to get them. If you wanted to actually do intarsia to sort of get the daisies properly knit into the fabric, you would have to knit the sleeves of this cardigan flat, which I just think would be a lot of extra hassle for these really small flowers on the sleeves. So I would recommend doing duplicate stitch and I think you would easily find like a daisy pattern to duplicate stitch onto the sleeves or make one yourself. I have recommended Lily Kate's patterns in like every single video that I posted. It is just because she's a great designer. She has really well-written patterns and I've never had a bad experience making one of her patterns. So I'm actually going to include one other pattern by her in this video, I believe. The next couple that I wanted to share are not necessarily an exact match for anything that Taylor has worn, but they are pretty similar to a lot of these collared shirts that she wore in Midnight's Mayhem with me. I'll put a couple on the screen, but she wore at least two collared shirts that I thought were super cute. The first design that I want to recommend that is similar to this vibe is called the Umbria Collar Shirt. Hope I'm saying that right. But this is a super cute collared long sleeve shirt. It has lace all throughout and it looks like the sample is knit in a little bit more of a fuzzy fiber with a little bit of a halo. So I just really love the effect that that gives. And the collar I think looks very similar to the collar of the shirts that Taylor Swift wore in Midnight's Mayhem with me. It's just this very open collar as opposed to being a little bit closer on your neck and a little bit uh, more constricting. So I think that is a super cute sort of 70s inspired look and really similar to a couple of the pieces that Taylor wore. The last design I want to recommend is one that I have already recommended in a previous video. I rec recommended this in my spring patterns video, but it is just one of the cutest designs I've seen in ages. And again, this is one that is not like a direct copy of anything that Taylor wore, but I think it has similar vibes because it also has a collar. So it is the Florence Polo. This is just the cutest little polo that I've seen in my entire life. It has the adorable fold over collar. I like how it has the wider ribbing at the bottom. So there's more knits than pearls. I just think it looks very classy and cute and definitely gives the sort of 70s inspired vibes that I get while I'm watching Taylor's Midnight's Mayhem with me outfits. Next up, I have a couple of designs that I thought looked similar to things that Taylor Swift wore in her Midnight's photo shoots. So the first one that I want to share is inspired by this photo where she is wearing a turtleneck tank top. And yes, that is in fact a turtleneck. It's kind of funny because I think a lot of people thought for the longest time that the turtleneck that she has on is actually her neck because the photo is just a bit dimly lit and the shirt is a pretty similar color to her neck. So it looks like she's not actually wearing a turtleneck but just a regular tank top. Um, but that being said, this is in fact a turtleneck. So I'm going to recommend the Tonight Top by Lily Kate Makes if you want to make a tank top that looks similar to this one. Um, the Tonight Top is a very recent design by Lily Kate. It is just a bit of a more retro looking tank top. Similar to Taylor's, it has a turtleneck and I also love that the entire thing just is in stockinette but looks very clean. It has these really clean double knit edges on the armholes and I just think it looks very clean and tailored. For Midnight's, there is also a photo of Taylor wearing yet another collared shirt. This one is like a light blue collared shirt that has an all over a lace or mesh pattern and I have loved this shirt ever since I saw it. I just thought it was so unique and such an interesting design. Like I feel like this is not the kind of shirt that you would just see in the store every day. Funnily enough, one of my friends released a design that has a very similar vibe to this one. It is called the Hot Mesh Polo by my friend Kevin. I think if you wanted to match Taylor's style a bit, you could just do a little bit more of a fitted look of this with slightly longer sleeves and maybe you could also make a slight modification to make the neckline a bit deeper. And I love the way that Taylor styled this mesh top. I think if you did make the Hot Mesh Polo, this would be a great way to make it a little bit more feminine just by tucking it into some high-waisted pants and maybe making the collar a bit deeper. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this little ride with me through Taylor Swift's eras. And I would love to see if you guys end up making any of these pieces inspired by Taylor Swift. I think they are all super cute patterns and you can either make them just because they're cute or you can make them specifically to emulate Taylor Swift's style. If you've watched this entire video, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my channel and subscribed to me. You can also hit the bell to turn on notifications for every time I post and I would really appreciate that. It is just really helpful to get my videos out there a bit more and to tell YouTube that you like my channel. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.